Galaxy Sky Part 2 is coming up right now. As promised, I'm going to show you the outcome of our Galaxy Skies that we finished last time we were together. So check this out. Here is the first one that we did with watercolor. Is it like that? Is it like this? Take a look at these sparkles. The salt that we sprinkled on there pushed the paint away, so there's a little less pigment in those areas. Look at that, isn't that neat? I know it ran off the side a little bit, but that's okay. Look at that. Very cool effect. Salt and watercolor is one of my favorite effects. So that is the watercolor version. We also did this using marker. Now check this out. I kind of surprised myself with this one. I am loving it. The marker colors blended together. You can still see a little bit of the line where it was drawn, but really not much. There's a little extra salt. Look at that. Beautiful sparkle on there. So I'm actually thinking that I like the marker one a little bit better. Maybe it's the colors that I chose, but the outcome looks really good. So whichever one that you chose, we are going to add to it today. So we'll set these aside for now. And we're going to pull out this sheet of paper here. This is located for you inside Schoology. It's also, it has also been given to you by me. Hopefully you received it. Um, it's a couple of buildings, same on this side, same on this side. I've given you two sets so you can experiment with them. What we're gonna do is later on, we're gonna take these buildings and put them on top of this background. But first we need to add some detail. I've given you this as a template so you can start to add things to it to make it look more interesting, more like buildings. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and draw your own buildings and draw your own shapes, you can do that too. I just wanted to make it a little bit easier for you by giving you these shapes. So I've got a Sharpie pen. What I'd like you to do is you can get a Sharpie pen if you have one or a ballpoint pen if you have one, just a regular click pen, you know, click, click. Or you can use a pencil that has a nice sharp point to it. Let's get that to focus. Yeah, just a sharp pencil point. So we need something small with a nice fine tip to it because we're gonna be adding some small details. So if you have a pen that has a point to it, use that. Regular Sharpie, too big. That tip is gonna be too big. So a pen, a pencil, or a Sharpie pen like this. So I'm gonna get started and I'm going to add some detail to these buildings. First off, I look at this one and I love to work in this square. It looks like there's a clock tower in there. Oh, it would help if I had a pen that worked. That's why I have a backup. Hopefully this one will work. Yeah, here we go. So I'm gonna put a little circle in there for a clock. Now, I'm working really small, so you wanna make sure that you're making some nice fine lines. And we want a lot of detail. I don't want you to just draw one or two things on here and be done with it. I've given you a building to add some stuff to, so that's what I expect you to do. Add some stuff to it. Make it look better, make it look more interesting. Maybe separate the building with some lines. Maybe inside those lines, we could make some windows. Down below, a set of doors. What does a building have? Some buildings have awnings on top of them in front of the doorways. So maybe you could make a little awning. A row of windows, tiny squares. These don't have to be perfect. I'm not using a ruler. Believe me, these are not perfect windows, right? So I'm just gonna make a little row of these just to fill it up with something, to make it mine. Because this isn't mine. It actually is, because I drew it, but you make this yours. What can you put on this to make it yours? Maybe we can make this look like the Prudential Building in Boston. That's what I kind of think of when I look at this one. But what does that look like? I really don't remember. Maybe a set of windows here. Here's another way to make windows. You can make some lines like this going across. I'll make sure I have room for my door down below. 
maybe a window on the side. So I'm going across with some vertical lines, sorry, horizontal. And now I'll do my verticals like this. So this is one way to make windows. Do something different for each building though. Try and make it look different. How about this little guy here? Maybe I'll put a tiny little roof on it. You can add to it too. You don't have to use the shape that's already there. I'll make this look like a little house. You don't have to do what I'm doing to your buildings. If you have a different idea, do that idea. There's just some bushes in front. How about this one? This one might have some long, long lights. I want you to make at least five buildings. So I know there's a ton more than five here, right? There's a lot more than five, but I want you to make at least five. There's extra, so if you mess up, or if there's one that you don't like, you can always do a different one. I'm making one side of my windows a little bit darker here, so it looks like it has some depth. Whatever you can think of. What else does buildings have? Let's see, I need one more. One more building. Maybe I'll take this little one that's attached here and I will, you know what I'll do? I'm just gonna make a series of tiny little marks. These are gonna be the lights off in the building, just tiny windows. You could even make a sign on the front. Pizza. some doors. Okay, so I've got my five buildings. Now what I'm gonna do is cut them out. I don't have to keep them in this order, but I do need to cut them out. We're not shadow cutting. We're gonna cut them directly on the line. So just to make it easier for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this whole shape. I don't need that one. So I wanna cut them out so there's space in between them. I don't wanna leave any white space in between them. So that means I have to cut in between each building. One building. Be careful cutting around these edges. You did such a nice job with the drawing. Spend as much time and care when you're cutting. So cut around these edges nice and neatly. Get in that tiny little space. Okay, building number two. Building three is my clock tower. This will be the biggest one. tiny spaces there. This is a tough one. Got lots of little cuts to make. And last but not least, we've got number five. Try and keep some of those black lines around there too. Okay, so I've got my five buildings. Let's clean up my space so we can have a nice area to work in. And let's go ahead and attach them to our background. So the first thing you wanna do is sort of lay them down and see where they're going to look good. Don't commit to gluing them just yet. And you also might wanna give a quick little rub to get the extra salt off because glue, in my experience, does not stick to salt. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. What I like to do is I figure out where I want my buildings to go first. Maybe like this, maybe like this. I kind of like that. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do 
So I'm going to take a piece of tape. I happen to have some double-sided tape, but regular tape would work good too. Uh-oh, that's bad news. Careful, careful, there we go. I am going to scoot these up a little bit. I'm going to lay down my strip of double-sided tape, not at the very, very bottom. I want to have some color underneath. So it looks like my buildings are kind of floating a little bit. So I'll lay down my tape and then directly on this line so it's all nice in a row, I will put my buildings down. If you don't have double-sided tape, you can use regular tape and just flip your buildings upside down. Make sure the tape is getting on the back. Don't have any tape on the front. So don't lay them down and put a piece of tape over them. Don't do that. We don't wanna see any tape. Don't, tape should not cover your artwork in any way. The tape can go behind it. Line it up. Make sure it looks good. Might mix it up a little bit. Some of your buildings can touch. It's up to you. Once you have all of your buildings down, we gotta do something about this, little flaps, right? So that's when our glue will come in handy. Glue bottle can work. Glue stick is a little bit easier because it's, it helps you to make a sticker, right? It, you won't get a lot of extra glue on your paper. Just putting a little bit of glue down. See how quickly I'm doing it? Just one, not, I'm not going ch -ch 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 -ch, okay? Just a little rub, check it out. It's done. Our galaxy cityscape is complete. Make sure you have some space underneath. Make sure you have a lot of space above too. Look how beautiful that is. You put this in a little frame, people will think this is a professional piece of art because you are an artist and you did an awesome job. I can't wait to see what yours look like. I hope you had fun with this and learned a couple new tricks or two. I will see you all next time. Bye.